The question today is, so how do I get started in real estate investing if I don't have a lot of money? Like what are the top ways I can get started? So I'm gonna give you three ways you can get started without using your own money and without doing without having a tremendous amount of risk. These all revolve around finding the right properties. Now the first two are about flipping and the last one's about short-term rentals, so stay with me here. So the first way you can do this is very simple. You wanna find an off-market property. When, what's an off-market property? It's a property no one's ever heard about. It's not on the MLS, it's not in the public market, it's not even on Craigslist yet. You wanna go out and find a property through marketing, door knocking, bird, bird dogging, whatever it might be. You wanna find an off-market property from a motivated seller. That's someone that has to sell their house now. And you go and you put that house under contract for the right amount. You have to put it for a less amount, right? And you put the house under contract. Let's say you buy a house for $50,000. You put, the con you put the house in your contract, meaning that you go under contract with the seller to give them $50,000 for the house. But you say, Glenn, I don't have $50,000. No problem, because here's how assigning works. Assigning. Assigning properties is when you then take that contract and you go find a cash buyer like me, and you say, okay, I got the house under contract for 50, are you willing to give me 60,000 for it? And I can run the numbers or any cash buyer in your area can run the numbers and say, you know what, that deal works for me. And because it's an off market deal and they've never heard about it before, they want it. And in this hot market, assigning works very well because people are willing to pay a lot more money for houses now. So your job is to find them and then sell that contract to another cash buyer. And that's called assigning properties. You're just assigning, you're, you're assigning a contract. You never actually own the property and you don't use any of your own money. That's a great way to get started. You just gotta be great at sales. And you can learn more about this at the Home Flipping Workshop, which I'll tell you about in just a minute. Number two, wholesaling properties. Now, wholesaling is also referred to sometimes as assigning. Wholesaling is when you actually take title to the company, but I wanna to talk to you about something a little bit different in wholesaling this time. What I wanna to talk to you about is you find a house that needs some work, and the person says, I don't want you to wholesale this house to somebody else. I don't want you to find another cash buyer. I want you to close on it. Because that happens sometimes because people are aware of what wholesaling is. You might say to yourself, well, how am I gonna close in the property? I don't have $50,000. But you also realize by running your numbers on our home flipping evaluator, which you can get from us, uh, you, you run your numbers and say, wait a minute, if I pay 50,000 for this, I think as is, I could sell this right now for $70,000 or $75,000 as is because you bought it right. But you need the $50,000. You can get what's called transactional funding. There are people that will lend you money based on transactional funding. They will come in and say, wait a minute. So they may want a piece of the deal and they probably will, but that's okay. You can use their money. They may say, I'll loan you $50,000, but I want $55,000 for loaning you that money for a month. And you may say, that's a crazy amount. What's crazy is if you don't do the deal, because if you did that deal and you spent $50,000 to buy the house, and let's say you cost you 5,000 to borrow that money for one month, but you sold the house for $75,000 a month later, that's a $25,000 profit. You back out what you paid for the transactional money, you still made a $20,000 profit. That's another way you can wholesale properties without using your own money. You can learn about that at thehomeflippingworkshop.com. We do go over that in detail, so homeflippingworkshop.com. We do an awesome job of showing you how you can make money many different ways, not just by the pretty HGTV version of flipping houses, but by assigning properties and wholesaling properties using transactional money. And the third way I'm gonna tell you about, short-term rentals. Short-term rentals, uh, we took on in our portfolio about two and a half years ago and very quickly generated $50,000 a month or more right now in gross rental income or gross, uh, I guess they call it rental income, that comes in from short-term rentals. I am so thankful to the people at Airbnb. Actually, that guy came from my hometown in upstate New York. That's where the original uh, inventor or creator of it. All they did was put a platform together to meet people that want to rent out their house, right, to short-term guests, just like a hotel. They created a whole new space. That's all they did. They created a whole new space. 10 years ago, would you ever have thought about staying in someone's house when you went on vacation? No. Now, it's a very common thing. They created a whole new space. How do you take advantage of it? Did you know you could actually put a house, you could actually lease a house? If you don't own your own house, you're saying, Glenn, I, I don't have a house. I don't have money. What are you talking about? You can actually lease a house. You can lease a house and then you can go ahead and put that, as long as you have agreement and the right paperwork, you can actually get that same information and then put it on Airbnb, VRBO, let those hosting sites bring the guests in for you. They bring the guests in for you, they do the lion's share of the work, 
and you collect the rents. A little more to it than that, but we have a brand new course coming out called the Millionaire B&B Blueprint. Again, the Millionaire B&B Blueprint.com. You can go check that out, and that will teach you how to be a short-term rental professional in no time. And actually, we teach our Thrive With Five system how you can get five houses under contract and start generating $10,000 a month in income inside the next five months. So listen, I hope those three things helped you. Remember, assigning, wholesaling, short-term rentals. That's how you can get started in real estate investing without any of your own money and without taking a huge risk.